Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Okay guys, so I get some emails from people uh, sometimes talking about, hey man, you know, I just lost my job, I'm desperate for money, um, you know, I need to make this internet thing work, what can I do? Can you please help me? I get emails like that, you know, from people, and a lot of them, some, sometimes they have... Uh, they've injured themselves at work, and they, they, they're hurt, man. They, they feel like, oh man, you know, I can't go back and do what I was doing. It's too hard on my knees, or I hurt my back, or whatever. And they want me to give them like a magic key, a magic key to just make lots of money on the internet, okay? And there's like, there's two schools of thought on this, okay? There's two schools of thought. There's, there's the safe, Smart method, okay, and then there's the warrior method, right? There's the warrior method, two schools of thought, okay? So when you're sitting at home and you just lost your job and your back hurts or whatever, and you got kids to feed and you got this and that and the other, you got to understand. You have two paths in front of you. This is my opinion, right? Take it or leave it. This is my opinion. This is my school of thought. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You're looking at someone who has sat there and lost their job and had two kids to feed, okay? So I know all about it. I have kids to feed, and I have been in that position. The only thing is I, I wasn't injured. I, I wasn't injured, but I've been there. I've lost my job, and uh, I've had children to feed. And I can tell you my opinion is... There's two schools of thought. The safe and smart method, right? That's one. And then there's the warrior method, okay? There's two paths before you, all right? So, first off, let's talk about the safe and smart method. Neither of these ways are wrong, okay? Neither of them are wrong. Neither of them are wrong. This way down here is going to require a different level of commitment, okay? This up here is easier to commit to, and the reason it's easier to commit to is it's something you understand. It's something you've been conditioned to do, and you're going to understand it. It's the easier way, okay? It's not the better way necessarily, but it's the easier way, and it's the safer way. And safer is what? Safer is comfortable. So let's talk about safe, okay? And I, I'm not, I'm not... I'm not saying this, the things I'm saying, I'm not saying them in any way to, uh, you know, put down uh, the people out there who are working, the people out there who are going to get normal jobs. Uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with those people. They're not, they're not buttholes for going out there and uh, earning a living and for supporting their family. I'm not saying, I'm not saying they're not cool. I'm not saying that. But let's talk about, let's talk about the safe smart way okay the safe smart way okay what do you do if you just lost your job and you've hurt your back or you've hurt your knees okay the first thing the first thing that I suggest okay especially if you've been um, working for a while and you haven't had to fill out any applications or anything you haven't had to do any kind of, um, you haven't had to do any resumes or anything. The first step, sit down at your table and make a game plan about how you want to proceed with finding another job. Okay? If you hurt your back, then, you know, obviously you want a job where you get to sit down. Or you get an easy job where you don't have to do a lot. Maybe some data entry type stuff. Maybe a greeter at a, at a store. Something where you don't have to use the part of your body that you hurt, right? Because there's other kinds of jobs out there. Especially in this day and age where there's so many uh, people out there who need people on computers. Uh, so there's a lot of different things out there you can do. Um, so the first step is game plan, right? First step... <laughs> Or just pretend I spelled that right. <laughs> First step is game plan. Okay, figure out your course of action. Okay, there might be jobs out there that you're not even aware of. Okay, so that's 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 one thing you need to be 
aware of. There might be jobs out there you're not even aware of. Okay? Go down to your local job and family services. You know, the place to help people who don't have jobs. And welfare, basically. Go down there and talk to them. See what kind of programs are available. Uh, see what they can teach you about uh, about different kinds of jobs, about kinds of jobs that where you wouldn't have to use your back or use your knees or use anything like that. Okay, they can help you. You know, you gotta you gotta think about it. You're gonna need help. It's you can't. It's too big. You can't do it all by yourself. Okay, it's gonna take help from other people sometimes. And this kind of a situation, like where you've been working at one place for a while and then you lose your back, your job because you injured your back or you injured your knees or whatever. You know, man, you're gonna need help. You're gonna need help from people who are more current with the job market. You know, people who are out there trying to find jobs and they're current with what's going on. You need help from people like that. Okay, so that's your first resource. Um, your local, uh, your local. Uh, First resource, job, family, services, or the equivalent, wherever you're from, right? Cool. What's your second big resource, okay? Well, your second big resource is right in front of you. You're staring at it. You know, you have the world's collective knowledge at your fingertips right now, okay? And a great way to start is YouTube, right? You're not going to use YouTube. You're not going to use YouTube to necessarily find a job. You're going to use YouTube to figure out how to do an interview correctly, how to answer interview questions correctly, how to do an application, how to do a resume. YouTube, you can learn all these things on YouTube, right? All the tricks, right? How to do an interview properly. You know, listen, man. These people who are doing interviews, and I know because I've I've worked at a place where I where I had to do interviews. So I can tell you that it's a paint by numbers system. They ask a series of questions. They're looking for a certain kind of answer. It's very easy to get on the internet, to get on YouTube, and to figure out what those questions are and what kind of answer they're really looking for. That way, you can answer those questions better, and you can get that A plus in the interview all green lights, right? You just need to answer the questions correctly. Okay? Another thing that you can learn, okay, and you might be able to learn this on the internet, but I suggest doing it in real life would be better. And a place that might be able to help you with that is job and family services is uh, learning some soft skills. If you're not good with people, it's a great time to learn some soft skills. Soft skills are basically those skills of being able to communicate with people, being able to get along with people um, without having any kind of tension or abrasiveness. You can just kind of get along with people. You get along with everybody. Everything's cool. You got those soft skills, right? And soft skills are super valuable in the job market today. If you can get along with people and you're friendly, man, people will want to work with you. They'd be willing to teach you skills uh, just because those soft skills are in such demand. Now that we have the internet and everyone's on the internet and people are isolated from each other, that soft skill, uh, that soft skill asset is, is huge, man. The ability, especially in customer service, the ability to talk to people is really, really key. So that's pretty awesome. Um, next, uh, here's another thing. Okay, C. I want you to write down your transferable skills alright the last job I had before uh, I was completely financially independent before I worked for myself completely I had a job working at a department store uh, where I basically was in charge of fixing all the mechanical stuff all the computer stuff when things broke I fixed them all the pricing type stuff uh, I was in charge of something called systems. I was in charge of making sure everything was working properly. If it broke, I was in charge of, of troubleshooting it. I was in charge of fixing pricing when they were messed up in the system. I was in charge of all this like IT type stuff as well as all this mechanical failure type stuff. It was a low paying job, but it had awesome leverage, right? Why did it have awesome leverage? I had awesome leverage because I knew about transferable skills. I knew that number one, nobody really told me what to do. I was kind of in charge of myself. 
So I had this awesome, I was getting this awesome prioritization managerial type experience. I was really good at prioritizing. So transferable skill number one, prioritization. Transferable skill number two, troubleshooting electronics. Transferable skill number three, troubleshooting mechanical. Troubleshooting, you know, transferable skill number four, uh, managerial experience. Uh, transferable skills, right? Learn to identify your transferable skills from your last job, okay? What transferable skills could work in another job, right? So think about that. Write them down on paper. Everything you did in your job, like the actual job you did, you know, if you worked at McDonald's as a hamburger cook, write down, you know, cooking, <laughs> right? What else? Uh, customer service, transferable skill, right? You know, cooking hamburgers at McDonald's uh, might seem like a very specific thing, but customer service is not, right? Now, you know how to run an oven. You know probably how to clean an oven. You probably know a little bit about troubleshooting it. And you also know about dealing with customers. So that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of transferable skills in there. Now, if you had like a generic job, like a, a job that a lot of people have had, you can probably get on the internet and look up transferable skills for a cook or transferable skills for a taxi driver or whatever you did. You can probably get some, you can most definitely get some help on the internet about what your transferable skills might be. Okay, so think about that. All right, transferable skills is a big one, okay? So, what I'm basically saying is, this is the safe, this is the safe road, okay? Find another job, because no matter what your problem was for losing your job, there's a way to get another job, okay? Especially right now. Now, it might not make as much money as what you were making before, you know? That's the nature of the beast right now out there. It's tough out there. People don't want to pay you as much money as they did 10 years ago. So, it's rough. It's rough. Okay, but you can do it. You can do it. You need help. You need to get on that phone. You need to get in that phone book. You need to get on the internet. And you need to start looking around for help. And you need to commit to it. You need to commit to, hey, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to go get another job. It's not a big deal. I know I can still do this. I know I can still do that. And I know I can still do the other. Even though my body might be broken a little bit, my mind is fine. Right? Now that might be you. And if that's you, take comfort in the fact that you can still think. Right? And your mind is okay. Alright, so the main thing is to stay focused uh, and be committed to, to something. Don't just be vague about it. Don't be wishy-washy about it. Make a decision, commit, and go. Because even the safe route, you're still going to have to execute. Okay? The safe, smart route is you're going to have to execute, but you're going to plan first. You're going to strategize first. You can do this in a day. Okay? It's not something you need to drag out for months and months and months. You need to make this happen. You can go back to school. You can learn more skills. Okay? Check into job and family services. See what you qualify for as far as aid is concerned. Do you qualify for food stamps? Do you qualify for, uh, you know, for uh, monetary assistance? Do you qualify for any help? Okay, see what you qualify for. You know, be smart about it. It's the safe, smart strategy. Okay. All right. Now, now, I want to talk about the warrior the warrior strategy. Incidentally, I want you guys to understand I've lived the things I'm talking about. I've lived the safe smart strategy. I, I lost my job. I went back to uh, school. I, I uh, went to job and family services. I took soft skills training. You know, I learned about all these things. I went back to work and I took the soft, the safe smart strategy. Okay, that job I told you about where I was in charge of IT and fixing things, that was the safe, smart strategy for me. I took a pay cut to do it. I was in medical. I was in medical. That was my, my career was in medical. You know, I took a pay cut to do that, but that was my safe, smart strategy. I took that road. I know all about it. 
Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not trying to say, hey, the people who take the safe, smart road are, are, are fools and they're, they're big dorks and ha ha, let's laugh at them. That's not what I'm saying at all. Okay? It's one way. Okay, that's one way. And it's not a, not a stupid way. It's not a bad way. It's one way. It's safe because we're conditioned for it. We all understand it. People ask you what you do for a living, you can say, hey, I fix computers, or hey, I drive a taxi, or hey, I do this, or hey, I do that. I'm a hard-working guy, I'm this old, and, uh, you know, I'm blue-collar all the way, or I'm white-collar all the way, and people understand it, so it's safe, all right? And it's smart because you get a paycheck every week, right? It's comfortable. Until you don't, right? <laughs> Until something happens and you don't. So, okay, so put that aside for a second. That's the safe strategy. If you have more questions about how to do, you know, how to find a job and stuff, email me, you know, email me or comment below. I can help you. I know all about finding a job. I'm very good at finding jobs, okay? But um, I want to move on to the next method. I'm just going to call it the warrior method. And the reason I call it the warrior method is because um, there's a story, right? They're an old warrior. And he was leading an army to battle. They were on ships. They were on ships and they were sailing across an ocean to battle another army, a much bigger army, on that army's land. So these ships get all the way to the shore, okay? And then once the army gets out onto the ground, that, that old warrior, that old general, he has those ships burned. He has them burned and they burned right down to the sea, right? And all his troops are like in awe and they're in shock and they're looking like, what in the world? How the heck are we gonna get home? You know? And the old warrior, the old general, looks at them all in the eyes and he says to them, you guys see it? I just had our ships burn to the, burn to the sea, okay? Now there is no way home for us unless we win. We will either win or we will die on this land today. We will win or we will die. And that is it. There is no retreat. There is no way home. Okay? And that's what he told his men and they fought that day and they won. Okay? And they won. It probably had incidentally something to do with the fact that they knew they were either going to win or they were going to die. There was no retreat. Okay, so when you guys ask me about making money online, dude, I just lost my job. I don't know what to do. How do I make money online? Um, you're trying to, I need to figure this out quick, you know, and stuff like that. You're asking me these kinds of questions. And I want you to know the first step to making money online is this mentality, right? Win or die, right? That's the first step to the warrior mentality. You win or die. You have burned your ships. There is no going back, right? You win or you die, and that's it. And that, that's the first step to success as far as I'm concerned. These are my opinions, okay? And I've lived these, and that's why I feel this way. You win or you die, okay? And what I mean is... You can't have that mentality of, I want to make this work online, and then as soon as shit gets tough, or it doesn't seem like it's working out, you say, ah, fuck it, man, I'm just going to go back to work, forget it, I'm just going to go back to being a taxi driver. You have to commit to what you're doing. You have to say, this is what I do, this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm going to do it. Will people judge you? Yes. Will it be hard? Yes. Will you be able to be a millionaire by next week? No. Is it going to happen over a night? No. It's not. Okay? Learning something new takes time. Okay? If you used to be a cook at a restaurant and now you've lost your job and you've decided you want to make money on the internet, guess what? Making money on the internet is harder than being a cook. Okay? That's, that's the way it is, in my opinion. I can probably go and I can learn how to be a cook. 
um, I can go to Applebee's and get a job and, and someone can teach me how to cook all everything on the menu at Applebee's maybe in six weeks I'll be a pretty decent cook and in six years I'll be an awesome cook right fine that's fine that's fair enough I'll learn how to cook everything well if you want to make money on the internet you know it's a little bit different than that you know there's a lot of different ways to make money on the internet first of all um, but you know let's focus on just one one method you know let's focus on um, let's focus on uh, selling ebooks on Amazon let's say you're gonna sell ebooks on Amazon what's the what all do you have to learn to do that well first you have to learn how to write don't you you have to learn how to write ebooks you have to learn how to write the ebooks. You have to learn how to format them in the right format for, for Kindle. Um, then you have to learn how to, and what, here's the hard one, learn how to sell them, right? And I think that that's the, the biggest skill if you want to be successful on the internet. And it, it really does come down to that. It really does come down to the sale. Right? And it comes down to marketing, is what it really comes down to. If you learn how to market, then you won't have to sell, right? Um, but let's say you know you decided, hey man, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make ebooks and I'm gonna make my money on that, right? Well, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to learn how to sell your ebooks, and then you know what you might have to do is you know you're you're gonna do that if you're gonna tr start trying to figure out how to sell your ebooks, and then you're gonna figure out, wow, I did this backwards. What I really need to do is I need to figure out what people want. And then write an ebook about that, and then figure out how to put that in front of them, right? <laughs> so if you had your heart set on, you know, making the next great science fiction epic, right? You uh, have just taken a step back now because you've figured out, oh wow, I got to figure out what people want. Do people even want your book? Well, I guarantee you, there's people out there who want your next great science fiction epic. I guarantee you they're out there. But the challenge is finding them and letting them know your book is out there. Right? And that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video, right? I'm not gonna go into how to do that. Um, but I want you to understand that's just one small way of making money online, right? And there's a whole bunch of things that you have to learn to be successful at that. So Here's what I have learned in my adventures, all right? When you go to start trying to make money online, there's three phases, right? There's the learning phase, right? There's the learning phase. And this is the phase where you say, hey man, I'm gonna learn how to make eBooks online. I'm gonna learn how to make eBooks and sell them on Amazon, right? And then you start learning how to do it. You start learning how to make the ebooks and, and write the ebooks, and you start learning how to format the ebooks, and you, you're learning how to do this stuff, right? And then you're learning how to sell them, and you're, lear you're learning all about it. You take a couple of courses. Maybe you get you, you buy you buy access to my site, you know, because we teach a lot about ebooks and stuff like that on AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. But you, you're learning. You're learning. You're in this learning phase. Now, don't stay there too long. Accept the fact that you're going to make mistakes once you start. You're going to make mistakes once you start. So don't learn too long. Learn as well as you can and then move on to the second step. Right? And what is the second step? Right? Take action. You hear it all the time. Take action. You have to take action. You have to take action. What does it mean? What it means is... You have to say, okay, I've learned enough, now I'm jumping. I'm doing it. I'm jumping in. Boom. You start. You start writing the ebook and you finish the ebook. You don't just start, but you finish. You put it up for sale. You took action. You did something productive. You just didn't sit around and buy another course and then buy another course and then make it halfway through that course and be like, ah, oh, well, this isn't going to work for me because. So then you move on to the next thing and you buy that course. Don't get caught up in that crap. Don't be an information junkie. All right? Don't do it. Learn it, then take action. Now I want to talk about the third step and what I consider the most important step. Because a lot of people make it here 
and then a lot of people make it here. Well, you lose a lot of people here. They don't ever get out of the learning phase. <laughs> they learn half of something, then they move on to the next thing, because their mind figures out a reason why it won't work for them. So then they move on to the next thing. Then pretty soon, they're messing with like five or six different things at once. <laughs> and they're starting to feel overwhelmed, so they give up. And then they say, ah, oh, forget it, I'm going to clean the whole slate, and I'm going to start with something completely from scratch. Then they move on to a seventh thing. <laughs> right? They get caught up here. But the people who don't get caught up, they move on to here. Right? And they take action. But something happens when they take action. Right? And this is step three. Okay? What happens is, when you take action, there is, always has been, and always will be, a learning curve. And I'm not just making this up. I want you to understand that to date, I've made money off a of physical product selling on Amazon, physical product selling on eBay. I've made money through Amazon's FBA program. I've made money off of ebooks, selling on Amazon and selling off of Amazon. I've made money on membership sites. I've made money on one-time -off, one offers. I've made money uh, through affiliate marketing on Amazon and outside of Amazon. I've made money online in a lot of different ways. And I can tell you right now, from the bottom of my heart, the God's honest truth, that every single thing that I ever learned how to do, whether it was learning how to make a WordPress website, and you can go to my, you can go to any one of my websites and you can see that I'm not that good of a WordPress website designer person. I'm really not. Matter of fact, I'm getting to the place where I'm actually probably making enough money or almost making enough money where I really need to be thinking about hiring someone else to do that because I'm not very good at it. And the reason I think I'm not very good at it is probably because I don't really care about being good at it. Um, it's not something that I tr dedicate myself to learning. But I've dedicated myself to learning it enough to make it work, right? Which is what you got to do. Um, but I'm getting off topic. So the third thing is learning curve, okay? So what happens is people, people come here, they take action, then they get to the learning curve. And what happens is they don't even realize they're, they're on a learning curve. What they think is, all right, I followed all the steps. Now I've taken action. Now, boom, 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 boom. Where's the money? You know, all the time I hear people saying, well, dude, I, I put out my ebook and I thought I was going to be selling like 10 copies a day and I was going to be all set and it was good. Man, I'm barely selling one copy a day. Or I hear people saying, well, man, last month I was selling 20 copies a month and now I'm selling like two copies a month or, or something like that, right? And like, they don't realize they're in a learning curve. They don't realize that even though they've taken action, they're not masters, right? They're not masters. They're not masters. If I teach you how to play chess, I can do it. I can do it in less than 20 minutes. How all the pieces move and how to play and how to win, right? But you are no master. Chess is a game that's easy to learn and hard to master. Well, internet marketing and making money on the internet is a game that is not quite as easy to learn and is equally difficult to master. So understand that as soon as you take action, you're gonna be in a learning curve. So don't be discouraged if you're not making money at first. What you need to be doing is asking yourself why this isn't working. What could I do differently that might help? And then what you do is you continue to try new things with your thing that you've committed to, with the ebook thing. Why didn't my ebook sell? Hmm. Maybe it's because nobody knows about my ebook. Maybe because there's like a million different ebooks out there about space, epic space fantasy science fiction novels out there, and I'm a no-name guy, and how would they even know about mine? Oh, so now you figure out, okay, my ebook's not selling because nobody knows about it. Now that's reasonable. How can I get people to know about it? And then maybe you kind of figure out, oh, okay, I need to find these forums. 
I need to let people know about my ebook and forums. Now you need to kind of start learning about forum marketing, right? So you take some time and you learn about forum marketing and then you you go and you, you start driving traffic to your ebook uh, using forum marketing and you figure out, oh, okay, that kind of worked, you know? How can I make more money? <laughs> How can I do it even better? Then you figure out, oh, wow, look, look Zero Fats is talking all about YouTube channels all the time. Uh, maybe I should do a YouTube channel about my ebook. Splendid. Now you got to figure out how to make a YouTube channel. Now you got to figure out how to shoot videos. Now you got to figure out how to do this and figure out how to do that. And once you get it all set up right, now you're driving a little more traffic to your ebook. That's awesome. Splendid. Right? And now your ebook's starting to sell a little bit. Right? You're starting to get a couple reviews. You start thinking, man, if I could get more reviews, I could sell even more ebooks. Right? And, uh, you start figuring out ways to get reviews, right? And you start figuring out, hey, if I just ask for reviews, I'll probably get some. <laughs> or hey, if I give out a few free copies of my ebook, maybe I'll get some reviews. Cool. You figure all this out, right? But here's what I'm trying to explain to you, all right? You didn't figure all this out at once. You figured it out because you took action, right? And then you moved into the learning curve. And the reason you start figuring it out is because you were asking those questions. Why isn't my ebook selling? How can I get more people to buy my ebook? And usually, nine out of ten times, the, the reason why uh, an ebook doesn't sell at first is because nobody knows about it. So, first, you got to get it in front of people. And then, if you start getting negative feedback, you start getting negative reviews or whatever, or you know, people start emailing you saying, hey, this book kind of sucks then you know your problem's not getting it in front of people, your problem is your product. So then you need to go back and kind of like, you know, make it better, right? Maybe pull it off the market and make it better, then put it back up once you got it corrected, right? But that's a whole nother thing, right? That's a whole nother process. So what I'm telling you is, there's a learning curve to making money on the internet, no matter what you choose. Now, put the ebook thing aside for a second. It could be anything. It could be a membership site. It could be a one-time offer. It could be making money through affiliate marketing or CPA, uh, CPA offers. It could be anything. There's always a learning curve. Okay? Now listen, when people come to me and they say, Zero Fats, dude, I'm desperate. I just lost my job. I don't know what to do. I need to make this internet thing happen quick. Do you know what I think? Dude. It's almost impossible. And the reason I say that is because of this. There's a learning curve. The learning curve. Hold on just a second. I'm not done talking. Nothing is impossible. Okay? Nothing is impossible. If you get a coach, you get a mentor, you know you can move through these steps much quicker. If you learn the right course that tells you how to do everything just right, right, just right, just right, paint by numbers, step one, step two, step three, right, boom, 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 then you're gonna reduce, you're gonna reduce your learning curve, okay, which is cool, which is cool. Are you gonna eliminate your learning curve? No. Think about the first time you played chess. I taught you. I taught you what all the pieces did. I taught you how they all moved. I taught you how to win. Take the king. You take the king and you win. The queen is the most powerful piece on the board. Boom. That's how you play. You know everything about it. What's wrong? What's the problem? The problem is there's a learning curve with chess. The more you play it, the better you get at it. And it's no different with making money on the internet. Is no different. It will take time to move from beginner to master. Okay? That's just the way it is. As I stand here and talk to you, I'm supporting my family and making decent money on the internet. I have no job other than what I do on the internet. Okay? Do I consider myself a master? No. I'm still learning. But I am no beginner. 
I have achieved goals. I have achieved the goal of, I was able to achieve the goal of moving from full time to part time, and then achieve the goal of moving from part time to quitting my job. Awesome. What's my next goal? Moving from my old beat up car to a new car. But not just the new car. I don't care about just the new car. What I care about is a new car that I bought without punching a time clock, that I bought from money from jobs that I created on the internet. That's what I care about. It's the way I acquire the thing that matters to me. Okay, what's my other goal? New house. New house. Completely with money that I've earned on the internet. From jobs that I've created from my own mind that no one can take away from me. All right? So I am no master, okay? I'm more like a journeyman. I'm like a journeyman, I'm still learning, you know? But what I learn, I will teach you, okay? I will teach you. If I can, I will teach you. But understand that making money on the internet is, a game, is like a game of chess. It's easy to learn and difficult to master, okay? Um, you, want, you might want to know, well, dude, I'm desperate. I can't go back to work. What can I do? In my opinion, the easiest way that I ever made money on the internet... The easiest way that I ever made money on the internet was this. And when I say easiest, I don't mean like easiest, like, oh, this is easy. What I mean is like easy, like the money comes easy. Like it comes pretty easy. Amazon. Find a product that's cheap for you to acquire and it sells on Amazon and sell it and, and you can make money pretty easy like that okay it's not as difficult to master it's pretty easy to get you it's easy to do it we all understand the basics of it already find something cheap and sell it for more and you'll make money okay with me it was books I had success selling books where I live they're undervalued it's easy to find them for cheap and then sell them for more okay if you want to know more about selling books and selling products on Amazon, check out AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Yeah, that's my website. Um, don't check it out until you got money rolling in because it's a monthly website and it costs money. Um, a small amount of money. You know, 15 bucks a month. 14.97 a month. So it's, you know, it's a small amount of money for, for an education is what it does. It provides you an education. If you can afford 14.97 but you can't afford it every month, then what you do is you you uh, you order adventuresonriver.com. You you pay for it and then you cancel it. That way you get it for a month and then you don't have to worry about the reoccurring fee, right? Just get a month's worth of education. That's that's a good way to do that. Um, Amazon's a pretty easy way to get into online internet stuff. But understand something. This is still physical work. You have to find that crap. You have to haul it around. You have to store it somewhere. You know, and you have to ship it ship it out. Whether you're shipping it to Amazon's warehouses or you're shipping it to the customers, you still got to ship it, right? So there's work. Um, you know, uh, if you want to do something easier, um, you can you can make a membership site, you can do Amazon affiliate marketing, you can sell ebooks on Amazon. There's a lot of different ways you can make money on the internet. The easiest I found, the simplest, is probably you know, the easiest way to connect you to money quick is probably just selling physical product on Amazon. But, you know, because there's a low ceiling, it's not hard to master, then there's a lot of people doing that. Okay? So, understand that the rewards are greater um, if you can master some other things, like the membership site, or the one-time offer, or you know, even Amazon ebooks, digital ebooks, you know, the rewards are greater because you don't have to work as hard. Okay? The rewards are greater. Um, it's harder, man. It's harder to learn. It's harder to learn that stuff. Um, so, um, you know, when it comes to the idea of being in a tough situation, where, you know, oh, dude, what am I going to do? You know, I, I, I just lost my job. I got kids to feed. You mean, I got to make this Internet thing work. 
okay? I mean, it's all well and good to say, hey, I've burned my ships, I've committed to this, this is what I'm going to do. But I want you to be aware of something also, okay? Um, in order to get people to buy things off of you, you cannot be this. If you're this, then no one buys off of you. No one buys your stuff if you seem desperate. Okay? How do you combat this? Okay? There's a couple of ways. The first way is to improve position. Essentially, you're going to make yourself not desperate, right? That's one way to get rid of that desperation feel, right? What's wrong with this? Now, it used to be I thought this was the best way. Don't be desperate and you won't look desperate. I used to think this was the best way. Incidentally, I figured out that it's probably not the best way. And the reason I don't think it's necessarily the best way is because um, what happens is when you improve your position, you put your ships back in the water. Okay? And what happens when you put your ships back in the water is you might not try fighting as hard because you know you can just go home if it doesn't work out. So you're not trying as hard when you improve your position. Okay? What's a better way, in my opinion, to not look desperate? Education. Educate, educate, educate. Educate yourself on marketing. Because if you can market yourself well, then you won't have to sell anything, right? People like to buy things, but they don't like to be sold to, okay? People like to buy things that they think will help them, but they don't like people trying to sell them stuff, okay? What I'm telling you is if you learn how to do this correctly, market, if you learn how to market correctly, I didn't write it on the board, if you learn how to do this, if you learn how to do this correctly, then you won't have to sell things, not nearly as hard. You can utilize the soft sell, right? The point is, it's, it's all about education. You have to educate yourself on how to sell, how to market, you know, and that, that's key. You know, that is key. That's key. By doing that, you're going to get rid of that whole buy my stuff mentality that makes nobody want to buy your stuff, right? But it all comes back to education. And what's education? Education is going to factor in to this. learning curve. It all comes back to that. So when you tell me, dude, I'm desperate, I've lost my job, I need money, I need to make this internet thing work for me now. I'm not going to tell you to go out there and get another job, you know. I'm not going to tell you, you you can't do it, and I'm not going to feed you a line of crap and tell you, hey, go sign up for my $14.97 a month uh, membership site, and I'll teach you how to make a million dollars in two weeks. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have the stomach for this learning curve? Do you have the stomach for it? Can you handle it? Right? And don't look at it like well, do I have enough money in the bank to handle this learning curve? Do I have enough money in the bank to afford me the time to learn this stuff? I want you to look at it like this. When you had a baby, when you got your girlfriend pregnant, or you got your, your future wife pregnant, or, or whatever, or if you're a girl out there and you got pregnant and you weren't expecting to get pregnant, you were, this was forced upon you, wasn't it? This learning curve was forced upon you. 
It's forced upon you. How did you do it? You weren't ready for it. You jumped in, didn't you? You jumped in and it was sink or swim, wasn't it? You had no choice. There was no going back. Your baby wasn't going to be erased. Your baby was not going to be erased. You had the baby. It was yours. And you're stuck now. Make it work. What I'm telling you is if you want to be successful on the internet, this is my opinion, this is what I've lived, if you want to be successful on the internet, this is your new baby, okay? You have to treat it like it's not going anywhere, it's not going to be erased, you can't take it back. This is your life, and this is what you're dealing with, and this is what you must make successful. Now, if you don't have a stomach for this, then I, should, I suggest using the safe, smart method. Take that path. But if you feel like you can commit, you can commit, and you're done. And this is where it's at right now. And that's all there is to it. And you can handle the judgments. And you can handle the criticisms. And then, once you actually achieve success, you'll, you'll still be judged you'll still be criticized and you'll still be treated like you have some kind of magic mojo that no one else has and that's why you succeeded because you're just smart and it'll be frustrating because you'll know how hard you've worked and you'll know that anybody could do it if they only worked hard and they focused and they mastered the learning curve but not everyone can do it not everyone will do it you'll be wasting your breath trying to teach people how to do it that you love I can tell you right now, guys, that I've tried to teach people I love how to do these things. I'm telling you right now. Because I want them to succeed. I don't want them to struggle. I don't want them to have to work crappy jobs that they hate and complain about them every day. I've tried to teach these methods to people I love. And they don't, they don't do it. They don't take action. They don't even learn. You know? So, you're sitting here watching this video right now, so you are probably 90% better than they are right now as far as like where you're at in your process because they wouldn't even take the time to learn anything. They have information handed to them by me and they won't even do anything about it. But you, you've watched through this entire giant video I've just done and you're still watching. So that puts you 90% ahead of a lot of people. Um, but I can tell you without a doubt, you, if you want to be successful making money on the internet, you'll have to attack it like it's your new baby. A whoopsie baby you weren't expecting and now you need to deal with it wake up shape up it's time to be the best parent you can be whether you are ready or not here it is that's how you'll have to attack this learning curve and that's how you're gonna have to attack internet marketing and making money on the internet if you want to succeed and that's all part of the old warrior burning his ships okay so that's the warrior method so I say again if you're in a tough situation, you just lost your job or whatever, whatever the situation is, you got a couple choices. You've got the safe, smart path. There's nothing wrong with that. Then you've got the warrior path. Understand that the warrior path requires a commitment that not everybody has the stomach for. Okay? Not everybody has the stomach for that kind of commitment. So understand it's going to take commitment if you want to master anything and this is no different it's going to take commitment willpower lots of sleepless nights so I can't tell you how many times my family's been sound asleep upstairs and I've been trying to learn how to make ads for Facebook or learn how to uh, you know freaking do forum marketing or you know learn how to you know, learn how to make an ebook in less than an hour so that people can make money on that. You know, learn how to do this, learn how to do that. How the heck do I make a membership site where uh, people get charged every month? If I raise the price every month, is that going to make the people who are already members have to pay more every month? I don't want that. I want everybody grandfathered in. How the heck do I make that work? I can't tell you how many things I've had to learn and educate myself on to get to where I'm at right now online. Okay, and I don't even consider where I'm at right now as a master. I mean, I'm still learning just like you. I might be a little bit farther along than you, but I'm still a journeyman. So, you know, what can I tell you? Continue to educate yourself, but work. 
work, work. If you have an idea, go for it, man. Don't sit around and think about it. Go. you got to jump. And then you have to ask questions. Why didn't this work? Or if it did work, why did it work? Ask yourself why something worked. How can I make it work better? How can I make more money off of this? I see I'm selling five of these a month. How can I sell 20 a month? What can I do? What's working? What can I do more of? It's not for everybody. But I do believe from the bottom of my heart it is for anybody. It's not for everybody, but it's for anybody. And what I mean by that is if you have the stomach for it, if you have the drive and the determination, you can make this work. Anybody can make this work if they're determined enough. And I believe that. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you. That's all I got. Get out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. against me, with the kind of against me that I don't cry anymore, I don't know why, when I die with the kind of against me, and I never read the Bible in all my life. I just gotta get this stuff down if I don't get it down I'll just